I got my own personal geocaching vlogger path tag in the mail. And that's coming up next. Yes! Hey everybody, it is Joshua, the geocaching vlogger, and I'm here with a unique, a little special video for you today. I just got a geocaching path tag in the mail, a personalized path tag, and I'm really excited to show you it. But I wanted to like go a little bit farther than just simply doing just like an unboxing of the coin. I thought I would do a little maybe tutorial on how you can make your very own path tag. If you don't know what path tags are, path tags are these little tiny quarter size sort of tradable geocaching swag items. They're like a geocoin, only they're not trackable on geocaching.com. The cool thing I love about path tags is when I find them in geocaches, I get to keep them, right? When you find a geocoin in a geocache, you have to move it on. It is not yours, but you get to keep these things. Let me show you a little bit on the process of how I made this path tag. So the very first thing that you need to figure out before you make your path tag is your designing. And I know some of you might be thinking, gosh, Josh, I'm not an artist. How could I make my very own path tag? And I wanna show you that you don't need to be an artist. All you need to have is a good idea. And so I have in my head an idea. I had a picture in my mind of what I wanted my path tag to look like. And I'm gonna show you right now my scratch drawings of what, what was in my head. Guys, here's what I literally drew. Uh, so that <laughs> that is supposed to be a stick man of me. Picture of me vlogging. As you can see, I'm holding my vlogging camera out to myself. Um, I don't even have any arms on this side, I don't think, but this was my little stick drawing. So I was imagining uh, a picture of me somewhere on there, and then over here I thought, oh, the geocaching vlogger logo. And I already had my logo already created. And what I did is I'll show you the picture that I sent to myself, and I thought, gosh, how could you make this picture of myself turn into sort of a cartoon version? So what I did next is I perused the pathtag.com website. On there, there were some artists on there and I went through all the artists. And I found an artist uh, called Dan Phelps Inc. And he was specializing in making cartoon character people. So I emailed him, I took a picture of that awful drawing that I just showed you, and I also sent him a picture of myself to make me into sort of our cartoon design. Then in a few short weeks, I checked my email, and sure enough, he came up with four different versions of a possible path tag design. And as you can see here, he came up with an A design, a B design, and a C design. And one was a little close-up version of myself, uh, but I really liked the A design because I think it really captured sort of the essence of what I do here on YouTube. So the A design is what I decided on. As you can see, Dan Phelps Inc., they know all about sizes and where to put the hole and colors and all that stuff. And then once I got to pathtags.com, it was super, super easy to submit my design. I just first went to order a new starter kit. I uploaded the image, I put in the quantity, uh, I got to select different sort of things like the, the back of the tag. And then guys, after all that was done, about a month later, in the mail, came my awesome sweet path tags. Here it is, it was priority mail, and when I opened it, the first thing you see is, that's a little nice little path tag sort of holding case or whatever, a little bag right there. And, and then, oh, here they are guys. <laughs> All right, so as you see, each individual path tag comes individually wrapped up with its very own little sort of keychain, and then it also comes with the tag. All right guys, there you have it. It's amazing how that scratch drawing turned into such a, just like a work of art. And then there is the back of the path tag itself. I'm really excited how the path tag turned out. Thank you so much pathtags.com for partnering on this video to show people how awesome and how cool this geocaching swag uh, path tag thing can be. So I would encourage you to go out there. If you don't have a path tag, go out there, make it happen. It is actually a very affordable, really neat, cool, collectible swag item. A great thing to trade with other geocachers, a great thing to drop into geocaches, or give to friends and family as cool little keychains. Now some of you might be wondering, Josh, how could I get a geocaching vlogger 
path tag. Well, I want you to know these path tags are going to be rewarded to those people that support our geocaching videos financially. So if you are interested in becoming a patron of the geocaching vlogger, go ahead and click that link right there. All the information about all the rewards you can get for supporting the geocaching vlogger are there. And one of the rewards is one of those awesome path tags. Just as a special thank you for those that support our videos. And I want to thank those that are already support our videos. Thank you so much. You make all these geocaching adventures and travels uh, possible. So thank you so much. If this is the first time watching the geocaching vlogger, make sure you subscribe uh, by clicking that subscribe button as we continue to bring joy to the world. One geocaching adventure and path tag at a time. And as always, thanks for watching. All right, guys, here we are. We are at ground zero. It is snowing, and apparently uh, Polaris makes motorcycles as well, victory motorcycles, and ground zero is putting me right here on this motorcycle. I have been here before with my coworkers, and I DNF'd the sucker. I looked all over, I couldn't find it, but I'm gonna do it again, and I was armed with a little bit of a hint. So uh, let's see if we can find it this time. All right, guys, there are so many places, guys, so many places.